Our story takes place at a fruit and vegetable producer in the Occitanie region in south of France. Welcome to the agroecological farm of Nicolas Aubouy. In the middle of the heat wave, a huge outbreak of mites was observed in the former zucchini crop, and then in all the other crops. But let's zoom in on this microscopic pest. This is the story of the red spider mite of the genus Tetranicus. This mite feeds on leaf cells. It's a phytophagus mite. But the higher the temperature, the shorter its life cycle. At 45 degrees, it goes from an egg to an adult in six days. A female can then lay a hundred of eggs at the rate of 10 eggs per day. In a few weeks, a plant can be covered with millions of mites. The plant will gradually lose its leaves and die of asphyxiation. During their life, the mites move back and forth between the leaves and the top of the plants, leaving behind them a thread of silk. They can also colonize neighboring plants. After a few weeks, a balloon of silk appears at the top of the plants. Just a little gust of wind and the balloon flies away, carrying millions of mites to the other plants. Tomato plants attacked by phytophagus mites produce volatile molecules like methyl salicylate. Predatory mites such as Phytocellus are attracted by these molecules, but also by the scent of Tetranicus. Phytocellus move quickly and have the same life cycle as Tetranicus. Each predatory mite has its favorites, and when it meets its prey, it will have a feast and multiply very quickly, especially when the temperature increases. It can feed on adults or immature Tetranicus and their eggs. When there is no more Tetranicus on the plant, the phytocellus will disperse and hunt on neighboring plants. Ah, there's one there. How did you solve your mite problem this summer? Massive releases of predatory mites. It solved the problem, in the end. You warned me at the end of June. And indeed, I observed a lot of mites on all the crops. Next time, I'll have to anticipate the risk of mite infestation. So you can anticipate the release of predatory mites, but also use different species of predatory mites? I hope that you can recommend us species that could reduce the risk of mites outbreak. And for my part, I will have to be much more vigilant as soon as the seedlings are planted. Okay. Pest outbreaks can be caused by climatic hazards. Releases of predatory mites can be an effective solution for sustainable agriculture.